During the course of war, which lasted for almost six years, Polish soldiers fought on all European fronts as well as beyond Europe. Just a few examples. The Polish underground movement was the largest underground resistance movement in all occupied Europe. The air battle that was fought for uh, several weeks in the summer of 1940 was absolutely critical to, to Britain's survival, which is why it's known as the Battle of, of, of Britain. There were many Polish pilots who fought in that battle with uh, considerable heroism. Uh, and I think I'm right in saying that uh, man for man, they um, uh, scored more victories uh, than any other, um, uh, any other nationality that fought in the, in, in the Battle of Britain. For me, as Chief of the Air Staff, the, the remarkable stories that I hear and, and read of the Polish airmen that came and joined the Royal Air Force and, 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 and formed the Polish Air Force under the Royal Air Force in 1940 is, is, is a remarkable uh, part of our shared history between Poland and the United Kingdom. By 1940, there were, there were 145 Polish pilots flying in, uh, uh, flying in the Royal Air Force and most of those were on 302 and 303 squadron and 303 squadron became the highest scoring hurricane squadron in the Royal Air Force with, uh, with Polish pilots. One of the points I think that the British tend to ignore or tend to forget is that the Poles are actually present in every theatre of World War II. Um, not only at Tobruk, but also at Narvik, at uh, the Battle of Falaise Gap, um, the liberation of Breda, um, the Battle of Britain, of course, uh, and, uh, and also at Monte Cassino. So they're, they're really present in every single theatre of World War II in Europe, which I think is remarkable and worth commemorating. As a matter of fact, the Polish division of General Maciek played a, a huge role in the liberation of Belgium. After the division landed in Normandy after D-Day, it was of course engaged in very heavy fighting around Falaise, where it brought uh, quite uh, an, an enormous uh, human sacrifice for the liberty of Europe. A trail of Flemish cities liberated by the Polish division still remembers them by some square or avenue named after them. Poperinge, Ypres, Rousselare, Tilt, Gent, Lokeren and so on. There was an invaluable contribution uh, uh, by the Polish armed forces, particularly uh, at the end of the war in 1944 um, during uh, Operation Market Garden in the east of the country. Um, there was a, a Polish uh, parachute regiment uh, which played a very significant role in the liberation. Um, they were awarded the highest military order in the Netherlands in 2006. Uh, that was the uh, military order of William. And also in the city close to Arnhem called uh, Driel, uh, next year there will be a bust revealed of uh, the commander at that time, uh, General Stanislav Sosabowski. I have the greatest admiration for Polish history, for the heroic people of Poland, because they have always chosen not to give in. There are hundreds of thousands of Australians who are of Polish, um, of Polish heritage, and for them, as a result of the experience that has come down to the current generation from their parents and grandparents, um, the, the war has a particular uh, poignancy for them because the, 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 the savagery of the invasion of Poland was one of the most savage episodes of course tragically in the Second World War. Poland suffered much longer and much harder. The country was subject to atrocities from two sides from day one and remained a terrible battleground throughout the war. The suffering, the sacrifice of the Polish people is beyond belief. It's very important that uh... Polish contribution to the Second World War should be remembered not just in Poland itself, uh, but also in the other countries that fought against Hitler.